Hey everybody, this is Dr. Karma Bryant and this is Car Chronicles. How you guys doing? Good to see you guys. You guys ready? Let's do this. Some of you guys have come from homes of narcissistic family. You have been in situations with narcissists, uh, married to narcissists, got children by narcissists. And you notice that as long as you were in the situationship or the relationship, you had major depression, you had anxiety disorder, you had mood disorders, mood fluctuations, you had stomach issues, you had all sorts of stuff. Now you notice that as soon as you left the situation, as soon as you left the narcissist, you notice that you didn't have to be on medications anymore. And then for some people, now keep in mind, this is for educational purposes only. I am not your personal therapist, so make sure you seek professional help. But as soon as you came out of these situations with these narcissists, you notice that you are no longer on medications. You don't have any mood issues. You don't have any anxiety issues. The kids are happy. The fish, is, fish are happy. The fish are jumping out of the water like they're dolphins out in the ocean. And you feel great. You feel at peace. You feel, you feel great. Then all of a sudden you get back with this narcissist. And the way that they gaslight you is by telling you that they make you believe that you are the problem to the issue in the relationship. Listen, they are the culprit. They are the, they are the, what's the word I'm looking for? They are the common denominator in the situation. You notice that every time they come around, you start having stomach issues, but you start having mood issues. Sometimes these are not mood issues. Sometimes this is complex PTSD, where every time you get around them, you are anxious, you're walking on eggshells, your moods fluctuate up and down, and they're the ones that are pushing the buttons. They're the ones that are in the background, and they're just draining the life out of you. They are life suckers, energy suckers. They're emotional suckers. They're emotion emotional predators. That's what they are. And you have all sorts of mental health issues, but they will have you believing that you are the problem and if you get back on your medication and some medication cause you to be very very bland very very blunt very not blunt in speaking but very bland like very just you know you don't have any emotions that go up and down you don't argue as much everything is calm but you don't feel like yourself and so they want you to be in a vulnerable position so that they can control the situation so they'll make you feel like you're going crazy part of gaslighting they'll make you feel like that you're going crazy like yeah i am the problem in the relationship they'll even have people thinking you can't take care of your kids because you have mental health issues. If you notice that every time they go into the courtroom, what's the first thing they usually say? The first thing they usually say is, is I want him or her to have a mental health evaluation because I don't think that they're capable of taking care of the kids because they have mental health issues. And it's not that you have mental health issues. They're the mental health issue. They're the source of the uh, um, depression and anxiety. And so don't let these folks uh, gaslight you. You notice that when they're not around, you're doing fine. And when they come back around, you're back on medication. They're the common denominator.